Hi patients, just wanted to talk a little bit about activity and the three pillars of health with my dog Rufus. <laughs> We're going for a little walk in good old Crest of Butte. Um, people do a lot of types of activities and one of the number one questions I get asked as a doctor is which exercise should I do? And let me tell you this, it's crazy. People are all the time doing exercises they don't like. Don't do that. Walk your dog every day. Hello, I suffer. Uh, so what I, want, what I want you to do is I want you to write down the three things that you actually love to do. So maybe you love swimming. Maybe you love walking your dog in a ski town like me. Maybe you love, uh, you know, we're at very high elevation here, so I'm getting good training just going for a walk, actually. Uh, maybe you love jogging. Maybe you're a road jogger. Maybe you're a forest jogger. And if you hear somebody say, oh yeah, concrete jogging is bad for you. I would say, no, not if you love it. If you were to go ride a bike and you hate it, you're gonna quit, you're gonna feel shitty or bad about yourself. And then what? Now you just have low self-esteem instead of getting exercise. Plus your probabilities of staying consistent are not good and really that's what it takes with exercise. So first of all, do what you love. Second of all, how often? Okay, well, you can overtrain if you're exercising all day, especially if you're deficient. If you have nutritional deficiencies, you might not even want to start exercising. So um, the three pillars to health really is strength, flexibility, and movement. Okay, if you have a history of poor posture, which is 95% of people, you're going to be stuck and you need to be adjusted. And not just pop, 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 cracker packer. Um, no. Actually having a thorough examination where your restricted joints are gain proper range of motion. And for some of you that could mean a year's worth of care. For some of you it could mean two adjustments. Really depends on how far you let your skeleton go, okay? And then you have uh, flexibility. I'm not a big stretcher. I do some yoga, I do strength training at end range, and only the kinds that I really love. Very important, so again, I do end range strength training, a lot of free weights, because it mimics what I do in my activities of daily living. Very important. So I want you to consider what you do for work or what you do most of the day and train for it. If you sit, train for it. If you travel, train for it. If you're adjusting hundreds of people all over the planet, train for it. You know, it really is gonna depend on what your job is. And then flexibility um, will come from you using the muscle at end range. Plus you're getting strength. So, some could call me lazy because if I'm doing yoga and I'm getting strength and flexibility and I'm getting flexibility with my free weights doing things at end range, then that knocks out two for one. And then I go get my adjustments and that is about the most efficient I can be to stay really pain free. Because I'm gonna have a lot of movement through my tissues. I'm gonna have the strength to hold my adjustments and to be able to do what I do in life. Plus, I'm going to be well adjusted. What does that mean? It means I'm not putting too much demand on a joint and ripping it and making it overstretched, like your favorite pair of shoes wearing them out. And I'm not going to uh, force myself past restricted joints pulling muscles. So, life's pretty good. A minimum of three times a week at 30 minutes, minimum of an hour three times a week if you want to be really have endurance and uh, you wanna do three hours a day, that's okay. Over that, without nutritional support, you're gonna, you're gonna strain something, either some sort of deficiency, your body's gonna have to rob itself to, to build new tissues. So uh, give us a contact about that, but otherwise, pretty good rule of thumb. Thank you for exercising with me today. Uh, exercising your brain, exercising your life, exercising your body, and your dog. <laughs> Mahalo.